Today we're going to be taking a look at one of the more frustrating type of dents and that is one that's on a concave body line as opposed to convex body lines. So this does have a convex, one that comes out and one that goes in. So the first step is to grind it clean, knock down all the high spots which I did. I looked at it from this side, made sure all my high spots were down. We're going to grind it clean with 36 grit and apply the filler. So we're going to take care of this dent in sections. We're going to do the most important section first. So we'll spread the filler right on there. And I have the tape line there so I can uh, move the excess filler. I'll show you after we get this spread on there. And again, I put it on thick right now so I can cheese grate it off and have less applications so we're just gonna and I'm staying out of the way of the camera hopefully <clears throat> we'll come across here and again we're gonna worry about these other we're gonna worry about this and this later Right now, I'm taking care of the most important thing, and that is this nice flat surface. And now we'll just pull this tape so we can get that excess off of there. When this hardens a little bit, I'll be back to cheese grade the excess off. To remove some of the excess filler, we're going to be using a Stanley Sureform, and I call it a cheese grater blade. And the number is right there. And now we'll just take off a little excess before we start sanding with the cheese grater blade so we don't have to breathe so much dust. And I know I have a little low spot right here, so I'm sort of sort of staying away from it. And you might have to hit that again real quick. enough to I'm being, I'm being pretty light I'm not using a lot of pressure at all I'm just letting the tool do the cut And we're going to call that good. Next, I'm going to hit it with this 36, or this is 40 grit on a medium board.
Now that we have this perfectly straight, we can start to worry about these surfaces. And I have two pieces of tape on there, and I'll show you why in a second. And we're just going to spread it on there nice. This, uh, this part wasn't messed up very bad, but the body line was messed up. So I'm going to spread it on there. And I'm getting right up to the tape line. And I think I'll call that good right there. And I'm going to put some up here because this one's not that hard up there. So we're just going to use this extra filler for up there. And the trim piece covers it anyway. That's good like that. And now we'll just cheese grate some of this off. And the tape is a guide so you don't mess up your nice straight body work from that section. And with the cheese grater too, you don't you don't have to it's softer than that, so even if you do hit it, uh, no big deal, it's not gonna do nothing to it. Matter of fact, you probably do it without the tape. Uh, with the cheese grater, but not with the sanding block. The sanding block would end up digging into that. We're going to leave this piece of tape on here when we hit it with the block. And we're not going to mar the tape. Because that means we might mess that up. Again, I'm using very, very little, very light pressure. All that good I'm gonna let that harden and be back to sand it and now we're just going to use this block and we're going to sand right up to that tape line but we're not going to damage the tape And I have some 80 underneath, so now we're just going to hit it with some 80. Again, staying away from the tape line.
and that should be good. We'll pull the tape. And now we're going to worry about this top section. So we're going to lay a piece of tape down there. And I'm just going to make sure I really like that body line. That's good right there. And we're just going to sand right down to that tape. And I'm staying off, staying off that tape line. I'm working from the top down. And if I see that I start to fray the tape, then I gotta move back away from it. I'm getting real close. And again, I have some 80 grit underneath there. And we're just, now we're going to ride it right along that tape. And pull our tape. And that should be good. And here's a shot of it from a different angle. Maybe you can see those body lines before I shoot the primer. So I'm going to DA sand these edges, give it a coat of primer, and you'll be able to see the finished panel. After a few coats of primer, this panel is ready to be block sanded, primed again, finish sanded, and painted. I hope you enjoyed this video on difficult concave body lines and tackling the job in sections. And if you did enjoy it and you'd like to get my latest videos, don't forget to hit the subscribe button.